I don't understand how to use this stuff. Finally got some stuff. Let's go back to the ant nest. I can see the bot's still running. I'll update some of the new skills that we got. Actually, this looks like a perfect room. I'll show the obstacles. Alright, so right now, we're just gonna kinda get a big box going. And now we'll set up a detour zone. And we're gonna detour this giant pillar right here. So, what I like to do to get it very accurate. I'll uh, get right on top of it and basically just uh, click on my dot itself. So I'll walk around, click the bot, click the dot. I think we just pulled some aggro right here. Uh, 
Yeah, that should be good enough. So, we've got that set up. Go back into the bot. Let's zoom out a little bit here. And we'll go to our tack. Got Twister. Again, HP greater than add. Let's turn on the bot right now. Set it up in the map. We are getting attacked. So now the bot will defend us while I'm working on setting this up and it will navigate around the obstacle. So just to show you, I'll stand right here. And you just seen it move right now. That's the when it goes back to center of position if no mobs around, it'll automatically go to wherever you started the bot. So if I move to right there, it's moving back into position. So back there, Twister. Don't really want Wind Strike anymore. We'll delete that. And we're gonna add Vampiric. And now you can also set a priority. Let's say you got multiple skills on here, but you want to use a certain one more. You click on that skill. And you can just kind of slide this bar right here to change the priority. So this one, it wants to use Twister more. This guy's like in a wall or something here. So let me try to fit these guys in here. See how it's navigating around the obstacle? And it's still hunting within that zone. Alright, so we'll turn off the bot for right now. You should see we're already out leveled this zone pretty much. We are going pretty quickly. Um, scroll back to town. And we'll clear out this zone real quick. And resize the bot. And while we're here, might as well grab some uh, C-grade weapon. That's a lot to pick from.
from our last experience, we probably won't need more than 500 of these. And I still don't think we need jewels. As you can see, the bot loads up Aiden and all the NPCs. Not really seeing any mobs in this area. Sorry, uh, guys, watching the stream. Uh, kind of not paying attention to my second monitor here. So we got a request over here. Okay. Uh, we got a request uh, asking how to use um, healing for a bishop. And when dead, go to village and then teleport to location. That type of stuff will require a script. Uh, to go to when you're dead, go back to a spot. Um, there is some tutorial sections on our website that do teach you how to start, but I can show you some, uh, if you need health conditions, uh, I'll show you right now on the bot for my own character. So we'll go to uh, self heal and there's quite a few settings here. As he was saying, when you're dead, go to town. So when character's dead, you got options here. If no res, go to town, clan hall, fortress, fort flag uh, currently nothing was checked off you got relaxed settings your character can uh, sit down heal regen mana you can sit with the party but we're gonna just set up a uh, heal right now so skill battle heal and then you set up a, a condition so this one the first condition we're gonna put if my HP is less than put in, 95%. And you can set up a second condition too. You can also set it with CP for your first and then HP for your second if you're in like some type of PvP state. But we'll leave this to disabled. And you got settings here. Um, intervals using combat. So battle heal for instance. Let's just cast on ourselves see what type of cooldown. So it's, it's about a one second cooldown here. So we'll change to one for every use. And since it's a heal skill, I normally like to up the priority when these are self heals. And we got it currently set to one run of fight.